What's up, everybody? It's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, May 24th, 2023, and this is the weekly comic book pickups video. Every week I buy comic books. I get them for myself. I get them for my kids. I get them at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio. Zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comic books, go check out that comic shop. It's the best one in the area. And while you're over there, check out the toy department. While it's still next door, it will be moving this summer. Just a mile down the road, though. Okay? So let's jump in. There are no new books today. There's not a single new book in this bag because I didn't see a single new book that really enticed me today or that I thought the kids would enjoy today. It was a very rough week. I think the only one I was tempted to grab was Darkwing Duck for Gracie, but I think she's maybe missing an issue or two in there. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get all back issues today. All back issues. So if you're watching this video expecting to find new comics for this week in here, you can turn it off if you want because it's all back issues. So for Gracie, I went back and grabbed <clears throat> a couple of old Archie comics. She really enjoys reading Archie comics. I got this really old Archie and Friends number 30 from August of 1998, 25 years ago. Ouch. This is by Bob Bowling, doing script and pencils on at least the first story. I don't know if he does all the stories in here or not. Um, possibly, but it's an Archie. Uh, that was originally a dollar seventy-five. I think it was still a dollar seventy-five in the back issues. And this one's a more recent one, two thousand five. Even though that was still eighteen years ago, Archie number five sixty. This was two twenty-five, and Greg Crosby doing the script and Dan, or sorry, Stan Goldberg doing pencils. This one was also very close to its original price on there. Um, so just a couple of old Archie books. Then for Keaton, <clears throat> excuse me, I grabbed a couple of old Dark Horse Star Wars comics. Every once in a while I'll grab him Dark Horse Star Wars stuff just because he enjoys Star Wars like I enjoy Star Wars. Um, and there's not a ton of other books I can think of right now that I think he would just appreciate a random issue of. So I grabbed him these, I grabbed him these two Star Wars Empire issues, which focus on Bigs Dark Light, Bigs Dark Lighters time with the empire uh in between the deleted scenes on tatooine and when luke shows up um at well i guess you have to kind of listen to the radio dramas too in the radio dramas when biggs talks to luke on tatooine he talks about how they're going to jump ship and join the rebel alliance and this is kind of the story of luke or biggs with the empire and you know jumping ship, and joining the Rebels. Um, so there's a couple issues of that. I can't remember if issue eight was the first book, book in the storyline or not. This is written by Paul Chadwick, I think. Yeah, Paul Chadwick of Concrete fame and art by Doug Wheatley. So I grabbed these two. I have no idea if this is right in the middle of the story or not. I just grabbed them because it was the first two Star Wars Empire issues that were there. They were $2.99 each originally. I want to say it was about the same price when I bought them now. And then for Blaze, who's been a, very much on DC, like classic 80s, 90s DC stuff, I grabbed him Superman Speeding Bullets, The Elseworlds Tale. Uh, this was originally $4.95, and I think it was only $4.95 in the back issue, Ben. This is by J.M. DiMattei and Eduardo, or Eduardo Barreto. Um, I, love, I think Eduardo Barreto's art is great. This is one of the Elseworlds Tales, which was DC's imprint back then, of telling different tales, like almost a what-if type of series for DC. And in this one, um, Kal-El is adopted by the Waynes and not the Kents. So the Waynes' murder and how it affects him and him becoming a hero. So it's like Batman, Superman combined into one character. So, yeah, this was a fun Elseworlds tale. And th what year did this come out? Does this say what year this came out? This is pretty early in the Elseworlds time, 1993. I want to say... Gotham by Gaslight was the first one. I think the first actual Elseworlds imprint was 91, maybe? Or it actually had this, like, Elseworlds logo. I can't remember for sure. But this is early on in Elseworlds. But this is one of the more fun ones. And I think Bat uh, McFarlane just did this figure recently. Did a figure of this. So, it's pretty fun. He might end up wanting a superpowers figure of this. A custom of this. Once he reads this book. Because he's way into those superpowers customs. And that is it for this week. If you enjoyed the videos, like, subscribe, notify. If you read comics and you bought something new this week, leave a comment down below and tell me what you picked up. 
Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this time around. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Take it easy. Goodbye.